Hey guys, this is Kevin with Garden Engaged coming to you on a breezy afternoon with another project. Uh, we have been wanting to place a little paver walkway down uh, right along the side of our driveway for some time. So now we've gone and secured those pavers. These are 16 by 16 pavers uh, that are slate gray to match already the concrete that's along the sidewalk leading up to our front door and then also of course the driveway. So we're going to be putting these down here, a little extra strip right along the front leading up along the side walkway and then of course trailing all the way down along the driveway right to the street. So Step one is the outline. So you can see here that Dragon has gone ahead and marked out exactly where those pavers are going to go and used a cotton twine in order to secure that. Next step, we'll be digging out the grass and leveling out the place for the pavers. pavers are in it's just about 8 30 p.m. now it took us about two two and a half hours to complete this project still have to clean it up but very pleased with what we see so far is complete we wanted to come back in and do a wrap up to let you know exactly how much this cost and also to walk through some of the tools that we use to install the paver walkway but first we chose a 16 by 16 for a very practical reason because when you step on it you can actually comfortably place both feet onto a single paver as you then walk down and transition to the next we found these pavers at walmart but you can also find them at home depot or lowe's as you're kind of pricing those out uh, we got these on sale at Walmart for $250. They usually start at the $350 range, but because of the sale price that we got on these, our total cost estimate came in at about $50. Bucks. But depending on where you buy them and the time of year that you get them, you may spend anywhere between $50 to $75 to complete this project. Also, one thing to note is the size of the paper that you want. The 16 by 16 is what we chose, but there are also other sizes. A lot of stores tend to carry only a 12 by 12 they are also 16 by eights. And just be mindful of that as you are measuring out uh, when you're trying to do your cost estimate for an install. So coming up, we'll show you some of the tools that we use. As you saw earlier in the video, a lot of manual labor it took in order to take out the grass. We did that simply by using a standard shovel in addition to a backhoe that we can get in and help to chop down some of the grass to make it a little bit easier to pull up by hand and then simply place it into a wheelbarrow to take it off into the woods for composting. Once all of that was up, we had to level down the dirt and we did that by using a finishing trowel so that we can really pat the dirt down underneath where the paper was going to sit and if there were any rocks or any uneven spaces, you can use this sharp edge in order to scoop that out and smooth it down. With that set, it was time to place the pavers. Pavers go down and we used a rubber mallet to gently tap on the paver 
to get it close up to the pre-existing line on the driveway and also the walkway and also to make sure that they sat as close together as possible. With that complete, we came down to add in some patio paper and sand into the first areas of the cracks. And the very next day, Dragon went back in with some concrete sand mix, simply pouring that into a bucket with water and then taking another tool, a gauging trowel this time, to scoop up that wet concrete sand mix, place it in between, and make sure he packed down really nice and tight into the, uh, the cracks for the paper. Um, the last tool that we want to make sure that you are aware of is this smoothing brush that you saw earlier in the video that we use this to actually help pack down the sand and the cracks of the paver. And then when Dragon went back in with the concrete sand mix, used this to smooth that mix across the pavers as well. And once again, to pack down that mix. When you're using that concrete sand mix, make sure that you keep it nice and watery because you really want to make sure that that mix seeps down between those cracks so that you can get them to have a good adhesion to each other. Again, this entire project should cost anywhere from $50 to $75. The biggest thing you're going to need is a buddy to help tackle it because there's going to be a lot of elbow grease involved. So go out, measure, find that sale, and we hope to see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.